All right, traders, welcome back to another price session trading video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to understand the language of price charts using price session rules. As you can see, this is the structure that we're going to be working with at the beginning of the day session. And my goal is to always make sense of what the structure is doing and to always find a pattern because these prices are always heading somewhere. There are targets, but they are working in the form of a pattern. There's always some channel that these prices are following or they're inside of a bigger pattern overall. So what is this pattern? Right here, we have a spike and a channel pattern. Now market likes to move in pairs of twos and a spike in a channel is just a form of a two legged pullback. We have first leg down here. We have the second leg down here. The spike generally starts with a steep move that is tight, but the second leg tends to be much flatter and much wider. Notice this leg is much calmer. This was quite erratic move down. So there's a spike in a channel pattern. This is a downtrend and I'm following the trend line rule. Notice we have a break. So according to trend line rule, I expect for prices to create new extreme and prices indeed created new extreme. Now, when I was watching this live this morning, I eyeballed it and I considered it as a double bottom. And this is important because when I measure it closely, I can see that this low is just one tick lower than this, which is indicating the downtrend played out a new low was made. And this is important because if I see a new low, it means according to rules, I expect correction or possibly reversal. But if the downtrend is still in play, I'm going to draw the channel tight. So we can see that we actually have a new low. This is why you always want to make sure you're analyzing it closely. That means that I'm going to redraw channel wider instead of tighter like this because downtrend played out and right now prices are pushing above EMA. So this is confirming that the momentum is changing and right now we have brand new bullish uptrend starting. So right now our goal is to follow this bullish uptrend and we're looking for a high probability setup to go long because we don't want to buy anywhere on a chart. Our goal is to make sure we're buying the high probability setup which is the two legged pullback because market likes to move in pairs of twos. So I'm going to reset the count at each high and we have a first entry long here pull back second entry long. Downtrend has a break new low. Notice the first leg down, pull back second leg down. And this right here is the second entry long at the exponential moving average at the key entry point. So the correction played out. We expect new high going to trend line rule just like we expected here new low. Here we expect new extreme. And this right here is a good high priority setup. I will mark it a little bit more aggressive just because the single bar has half of its body very stim, which means it closed quite low. Notice the stim at the top. So the single bar is quite neutral, but context wise is a good price action setup. And notice what happened. We had first leg to a new extreme, pull back second leg to a new extreme. So the uptrend played out. And notice the structure that I'm working with here. I have a spike and a channel that played out and I have an uptrend that played out as well. Do I see strong downtrend or do I see strong uptrend? Well, I see neither. I've just moved down and move up. And this is generally indicating a trend range structure. So my goal is to identify extremes for the trend range. The low of the day is the easy support I'm going to identify because important support of a trend range tends to be a low of the day or high of the day. So I'm just going to copy it. Where do I put it? I'm not going to select the high of the day because it is too high and I don't have any price action here. We're already working here. We may get it later on so I could adapt. But what I'm going to do, I have the most confirmations here and right here. And this fits nicely. So this is a trend range structure. And this is how you're going to make sense of the price action structure by following these key levels because they may come into play later on. So we have a break, new extreme. So we have new high. So I expect reversal. After I see such a strong push bull EMA, this right here is confirming the bearish momentum. Strong push bull EMA, EMA is not holding, so I'm going to find a brand new pattern, just like I always have to find a pattern. So what do I expect? I have new high, I have first entry long. My expectation is to get a felt second entry long, preferably close to EMA like this. These are the best, but it didn't happen. Notice where the felt second entry long actually formed. Okay, I'm counting for second entry longs to fail. Here I'm counting for second entry longs to work because uptrend is in play and needs to get new high. Now the uptrend has new high, strong push below EMA back into trend range. So the context is changing. So right now I'm okay with counting for second entry longs that are going to fail. So for that reason, I'm counting for second entry long failure. This failed second entry long, even though it worked for a scalp, is not a great setup in my opinion. Why? 
Well, because you want to catch the reversal pattern right below EMA as the move is just starting. You want to capitalize on the momentum, strong below EMA, just a little pullback here and continuation of the momentum. Here that didn't happen. You can see basically the leg down already worked. Price is already formed, big move down. This is one big leg down, basically depleting. And this feels too late now after this entire downtrend played out. So if anything, I'm expecting to get a second entry short, which never formed. Market attempted to create new low, which a new low was not formed. Market continued working higher. So at this point on, I need to redraw my channel because this is unproportionate. This channel is so tiny, the move to new high should not be triple its size. So what I'm going to do, just redraw channel slightly tighter, like this. And I have micro break, new extreme on this one single bar. And prices are pushing back into the string range. Now, one trader took this long right here. Is this a good long to take? Well, first of all, it's just a first entry long, but this is not a good long to take. Even if you're unsure if you have a small break in your high and you're playing this as this option is in play, you have to take into consideration the overall pattern. The pattern, the main bias in this market is trend range. And trend range rule says that you want to fade the breakout and you want to buy low, sell high. So right now we have a fell breakout which can generate strong momentum in opposite direction. And we expect for prices to go down here. So I can't really go long once we are at the top of the trend range and we're after a fell breakout. Okay. And notice prices continue working lower. So I'm going to redraw the channel because we're pushing way too far down. And once you're already at the middle of this trend range, at this particular moment, it was quite clear that we're going to reach the new low. That the bearish momentum is strong. There is no imbalance because imbalance should be higher lows. Here we have a couple of higher lows, but this low right here is basically lower than this right here. So this is right here, strong negation, bears are in control again, and I'm looking for high probability setups. So here I was looking for second entry long, and notice you have a new low, first entry short, second entry short, break a new high, and another two-legged pullback like this first leg, second leg at the EMA, and downtrend needs to get new extremes. So this right here is a great high probability setup second entry short great signal bar now notice what happened market continue working lower and form another high probability setup now this is important area so we're going to talk about this notice what we have we have new low first entry short second entry short so another two like a pullback and also if i come from the highs we have new high first entry long pullback second entry long so we have two high probability setups in one not just one setup but two high probability setups good short and a good long failure at the key entry point now trader also asked me about a potential support like this actually a couple of trader asked me about this now is this support important well let's talk about why i like taking this setup right here this was my first trade for the day and actually only trade now why i like this setup is because if i see break new low of this short term downtrend and the ema keeps holding again in the form of a two-legged like pullback if I'm going to take a step back, I can see that the downtrend started actually from this very point. And this micro channel is not taking into consideration this move right here. So once I see EMA rejecting prices again, this is where I quickly eyeballed this channel. And since it got nicely confirmed here, this right here told me, okay, this channel is in play. We're going to reach the low of the day most likely. So I don't have to worry about this support. This is just a random support in the middle of the trend range. The main support and resistance, the main key levels are always the highs and lows for the days. Okay, these are the main ones that I want to follow. So not particularly worried about this. In fact, you can take the other side of the early bulls because in trend range, you just want to buy low, sell high. So you want to buy low at the main support if rules allow it to. So there are early bulls who are buying the middle of trend range. So you know they're most likely going to get trapped because there's still room for prices to go down here. For the reason, once they get trapped, with two high priority setups and two key entry points are holding. I like this setup and this is my first trade for the day. I took the runner at these lows. Now, can we take another short entry right here, second entry short, lower high or any other setup? Well, not really. Notice this is just a congestion. You're going sideways, so many steps at the bottom. You cannot sell directly into low of this train range. At the same time, you cannot go long. Why? Well, because this downtrend is in play. Okay, you can only go long if there's a break in your extreme. 
and you haven't closed above EMA once since the very beginning of the downtrend so you stay below EMA the entire time so you cannot really go long just yet even when there is a break and a new extreme so no short here directly into these lows and no longs here because the downtrend is still in play only here you have a break and a new extreme so right here notice are we looking for second entry shorts we're not the same logic and the same idea just like we use here we are after fell breakout so we're not buying above the train range here we broke the downside we're after fell breakout so we're not selling right here below the train range okay so if anything i'm expecting for second entry short no there is no short setup anyway because you pushed above ema notice this big bullish spike above ema this is indicating to you that the momentum is bullish if ema is holding rejecting prices and you're closing below you can even make a case for thinking about possible short but since there is strong push above ema the shorts basically got completely negated in fact i'm looking for a second entry short failure i have new low first entry short pull back this is where i was expecting for a second entry short right after push above ema right into ema this would be great for a second entry short but it never formed there is no trigger below this bar right here by the time we get first second entry short here one two three four five six bars stacked almost seven congested so cramped up next to each other close quite high can't really go long here you know i don't see this setup to be that great because it was quite congested at this point on here we have important scenario notice how many bars are overlapping at this low we have a fell breakout which i don't really want to buy because we haven't pushed above ema once since the very top we stay below ema so the momentum bearish is quite strong but there is so many overlapping bars stacked next to each other that i can reset the count here notice so many pushes here basically just one little stack area so if i'm going to use this pattern in price action and reset the count i can have first entry short here second entry short here nice clean visual so this right here is right now a failed second entry short with count reset or you can basically treat it as a high low confirmation of the failed second entry short here you're back above the train range back above the ema signal bar is exactly what you want to see and this uptrend needs to get new extreme and now we have two legs to a new high and uptrend created new extreme and notice you reverse back down like this you okay, notice how the ema is starting to flatten a lot you're basically hovering around this main key level we even have congestion here there's really no good setup because you have one two three four five bar stack six bar stack you can't really take short you can't take long because ema is exactly in the middle of these bars and it's the worst type of congestion so this is congested area both sides look tempting this push down is new low also at the bottom of train range you can make a case for both so you don't want to be taking any setup and notice if i'm going to take a step back i can see that the trend line ended up being a little bit wider like this okay but i wanted to go first through how i played it at the time kind of go through the chart what i was looking at now we can see that this channel is still in play either way i still like the setup right here because you're back above the key entry points and this is such a nice bullish bar that even if this uptrend excuse me this downtrend is in play you can still go long here but now it makes sense the prices push back below and now form a major new low so you can see how each channel is following the rules and you're looking for two legged pullbacks as high probability setups now this right here is a congestion and how do we trade congestions we fade the breakouts or we take lower high breakout pullback pattern so this right here is a fell breakout while the uptrend played out and larger two-legged pullback like this now definitely decent setup it feels too sideways at this point on we're basically just hovering around this key level ema is flat so i don't really think it is that safe but it makes sense in a local price action because it is a fell breaker out of this congestion great single bar two legs up but this overall structure is just too sideways at this point on and you can pretty much make a case you can make a case for both sides here notice massive push to a new extreme and notice how sharp this move down was and how steep it was and this is a strong depletion when you have lack to new extreme so this downtrend finally played out with such a strong move down steep move down which is generally going to tell you that if you're in a train range structure you can have strong snap back into the string range so right here you finally have a break new low you have a massive push above ema strong bullish momentum and you have high low 
strongly reversing above this exponential moving average. I will mark this setup for more advanced traders because this is a great momentum trade. It takes one tick lower, instantly reverse back up. Notice how strong this bullish bar is, closing on its very high. Managed to push above EMA while the downtrend played out, and you're going back into this trend range according to trend range rules. Most breakouts, notice 95% of these breakouts are failing. They're pushing back into trend range sooner or later. Okay, you have felt second entry long here, but you're not quite touching the EMA. And this is where it got quite confusing because you can also see that we have smaller trend range around this low today. We can see EMA completely flat, up, down, up, down, up, down. So this is very tight trend range. And when I was watching this live and I saw first leg here pull back, second leg here, I was expecting to get a full second entry long here. I was expecting for prices to pull back into the smaller trend range and form a felt second entry long here. However, that never formed. We can see new high, first entry long, and a second entry long is forming at the low of the day support and instantly reverse back up. Brand new bullish uptrend. So right here, I'm looking for two legged pullback just like I was looking here. So I'm going to reset the count. We have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. But this second entry long formed far away from EMA. So I'm expecting to get possible double trap if you see second entry long so far away from EMA, potential even higher low, which you can see here we have high low. New high, first entry long, second entry long. Confirmation setup, high low of a two legged pullback. Close enough to EMA, it is also triple test. You can see first push, second push, third push. So this right here is a high low triple test. Buyers are buying at this small little support at the EMA. Upturn needs to get new high. But notice single bar is bearish. Double bar entry follow up bar has also bearish stem. So very unclean, quite sketchy. You know, context wise, I like going along here, but local price action and behavior of the pattern is really not clean here, quite messy. So I don't really want to push it, but context wise, this would be a great setup. And here it got a little bit tricky when I was watching this live because once we have such a massive push up, one leg, second leg, third leg, four legs to the upside, I was toying with the idea of looking for uptrend like this, which you can see was not correct because I also saw first leg down, second leg down. And the downturn really didn't fit that well, but you can see my analysis here was off because the main train range came into play. Notice this is another fell breakout, another push back into this train range. So you want to draw a shortened pattern. However, I don't see any decent short regardless. Only after market is pushing back below EMA, that's where there is a possibility for us to identify why the channel Using these first few swings, prices are pulling back into this trend range again. Most breakouts will fail. So I was quite caught off guard by this momentum because from this very point, notice was quite a strong bullish push up. However, you can see prices made their way all the way back into the trend range. And now we have new low, first entry short, second entry short. But the second entry short is far away from EMA. We have a break, move to new high, and we have visual to like a pullback. First leg like this, second leg like this. We have a nice double trap at the EMA, perfect tier one signal bar, great high probability setup. You have a break, new attempt to create new high. The second entry short signal bar, however, is a horrible doji above EMA. By the time we get this bar, it's too big. EMA is in one of these bars. No good setup. You can see you form congestion, so there's really no clean setup. And once again, just like you have small congestion here, another congestion. So how you trade a congestion, you want to fade the breakout. We broke higher, most breakouts will fail. And here we have felt breakout setup because this downtrend needs to get new extreme. So you're fading it with the direction of the main trend market for a new extreme. You can see we closed. So this was my only trade for the day that I took. You can see I managed to get a scalp here and a quite a nice decent runner. I didn't really take any other trade besides this one. So this is the overall main pattern. I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to talk to you next time. Take care, everybody.